Hi guys, it's me, Geraldine. I'm here to talk about my most recent puzzle that I assembled. Um, it's Portobello Road by Gallison, and it's a 1,000 piece puzzle. Um, so let's talk a little bit about what you're gonna get in the box. So when you open the box, you're gonna see that the puzzle, come, the pieces all come bagged. Um, that's because Gallison does not shrink wrap any of their puzzles, and they don't even tape the box. So you could literally open the box while in the store. So to protect the pieces, they are bagged. You're also going to be getting a, a small poster to help with assembly. So the one side is the puzzle picture, and then the other side is a little bit about the puzzle itself, like the background, the, the uh, photographer, etc. So a little bit about uh, why I decided to pick this puzzle at the store. Well, I really just like the image. I just thought there was a lot of color, a lot of variation. And like I've said in some other stuff, um, I do really like collection puzzles, meaning puzzles that have like a bunch of items that are of a similar theme. Um, they tend to have a lot of variation in color, um, a lot of patterns and textures. It makes it easy. Like you can just pick up a single piece, look at the picture and know exactly where to put it. And so I just find that like the most relaxing way to do a puzzle really. Um, I like that more than like a single image art piece really if for me. Um, I know that I might not be in the majority on that one, but that is my uh, preference. I also uh, just like the, the subject matter. So Portobello Road is an area of uh, Notting Hill in London. And um, I am a big fan of all things UK related. I really would like to head over there at some point. It's on my bucket list. Um, and it's also, um, a big retail like retail space so it's a bunch of independent eclectic stores the picture itself I don't know if you can really see it is that it's is a bunch of store windows on Portobello Road hence the name Portobello Road of the puzzle and I used to own my own retail business and so I also have an interest in shop windows especially for small independent businesses um, so that's a little bit about why I picked it all right, so let's talk about the pieces themselves. Here's just a, a random one that you can see. So it is one-sided, picture on the front, and it's white, plain on the back, so e sorting is very easy. And they're standard cut pieces, so just that normal four-sided jigsaw puzzle piece that you would normally think of with jigsaw puzzles, no random cuts, no unusual shapes. And as you can see, as I'm moving it around, there is some gloss to it. Um, it's a semi-gloss, it's not overly glossy, but I did have a, a few more issues with glare doing this puzzle than I have with some others. The pieces themselves are a medium thickness. Um, they're not overly thick, not overly thin. I'm not sure if this contributed to the overall quality of the puzzle or not, um, which we'll get into here in a minute. Um, but the pieces themselves feel fairly sturdy um, and they're a, a standard size puzzle piece. My overall impressions of this puzzle are mixed. There is both good and bad with this puzzle. I want to start with the bad and we'll end on the good. So the bad. Um, this puzzle basically made a liar out of me. In my last Inside the Box video, I said that book companies make excellent puzzles and this puzzle was not. Um, so Gallison is a book company puzzle. It is distributed by Chronicle Books. I've done them in the past and not had any issues. Um, but this one, I would say about 30% of the pieces had some problems. Either they were bent, folded, uh, peeling, stubbed. None of them came broken, so I guess there is that. Um, but I have some examples. So this one, like you can see the corner here, right here, is is being bent and it's peeling a bit which made it hard and then on this one same same thing corner is bent and peeling slightly and it just made putting this puzzle together a lot harder than it should have been uh, the image would line up but the pieces wouldn't go together smoothly so it was really hard to be confident in knowing that my piece was in the right spot um, obviously when I put in surrounding pieces, then I could tell, but that's a pretty big negative given the fact that that's essentially 
doing a puzzle. So there were some neutral things like uh, there was a little bit of dust, uh, not a ton. Um, most of it I was able to get rid of pretty quickly when I was sorting the puzzle pieces out of the bag. Um, and then, like I said, there was a little bit of a glare, but it wasn't terrible. It would definitely not make me, it was definitely not a negative. It was just a neutral. It's just a thing. It is, there's some glare. Now for the good things about this puzzle, because there definitely were some good things. Um, the pieces when they weren't damaged went together really easily. So it was very easy to tell if the, the placement was correct or not. Um, and then also I really, really like the image. I still really like the image. Again, the shop windows being in the UK, it's all just parts of my history and interests of mine. So I really do like this image and it's what's going to save the puzzle for me and get me to do it again, honestly. Um, it's just now nice to know that going into it, there might be a little bit more difficulty, which is just not what I expected when I opened up a new puzzle. So for some star ratings, quality, I give it a two out of five. Difficulty, I give it a four out of five. The picture, a five out of five. Again, I really liked it. And overall, probably a three out of five. Pretty mixed. So with all of that being said, would I recommend this puzzle? No, unfortunately, I probably wouldn't, which does pain me to say because I've had a good experience with Gallatin in the past. But my basic criteria for a good puzzle experience is a clear image, cleanly cut pieces, and well-fitting pieces, and this really didn't hit that. So I can't in good faith really recommend this puzzle. Now, like I said, historically Gallison's been great. I'm hoping this is the one-off just because I bought it like at the end of the pandemic or something. Um, but Gallison is on my mental watch list. I will be more critical of them in the future and I will be paying extra close attention to their quality. Um, and hopefully I'll do another one here and I'll report back and I'll let you know how it goes. So if I haven't scared you off entirely from purchasing this puzzle and you are still interested in buying it and giving it a try, um, a quick Google search shows that you can find it at a bunch of different places online. Uh, Gallison sells it directly. I'll link to that in the description. Uh, Amazon had it, Walmart had it, and some other uh, smaller uh, puzzle retailers also had it. Um, I personally bought it from my local independent bookstore called The Book Loft. And if you can buy a puzzle and support a small business, do it. They work hard and they deserve your business. All right, guys, well, that's about all I have to say about the Portobello Road puzzle. This is a companion video to the Relax with the Puzzle Portobello Road video that I did. And if you're interested, please check that out. I will link it in the description. Um, and of course, if you like this video, thumbs up, like, subscribe, do all the things, notifications on, everything. And thank you for watching, guys. Bye.